Hi everyone, this video is part of Macquarie University's coding tutorials, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at instance methods and adding some to our car class so that we can perform actions on our cars. Then, we'll look at a certain type of instance method called utility methods. Finally, we'll take a look at static methods and how they differ. Instance methods, also known as non static methods, are methods that operate on a specific instance of a class. They have access to the object state and can modify it. This means they can access all instance variables and any other functions belonging to a certain car. In the first example, let's add the engine start and engine stop methods from our UMR diagram that we made in a previous video to the car class. First, it's important to know that we often want to create variables that allow us to know and change the state of an object, mainly using booleans as instance variables. For example, to figure out if our car is on or off, we can add an is running variable that we can toggle to true in the engine start method and to false in the engine stop method. In the client code, we can call these methods on a specific instance. Notice that when we run the program and look at the print statements, when we start the engine, the is running variable prints as true. When we use the engine stop function, is running becomes false, which is what we expect as per the implementation. Because we included a print statement in the methods themselves too, we also see the corresponding print statements appear in the console. Like normal functions, instance methods can also take in parameters. If we want to implement the accelerate function, we could have a parameter that is how much the car should accelerate by. That is, how much to add on to the current speed. Let's make it have a return type of int, so that every time a car accelerates, the accelerate function returns its current speed. First, let's increase the current speed by the parameter, km per hour, and return the current speed. Now let's try it in the car tester class. Let's accelerate by 50 km an hour by calling the accelerate function on my car and passing 50 as a parameter. We're not storing the new current speed of returns in this case because we can access that with the current speed instance variable, but it might still be useful in the future. If we now print the current speed of my car, we can see it as 50 because we started at 0 km an hour and accelerated to 50 km an hour. With this in mind, have a go at implementing the service function. It can be as simple as printing to the console that the car has been serviced, or you can go a step further and think about some useful instance variables you could create to keep track of the service data. Think about whether the method would then need to take in any parameters. Now moving on to utility methods. Utility methods are not directly related to the object state or behavior, but are useful for performing certain actions. These are also known as helper methods. They can be used to perform specific tasks that don't change the state of the object, such as formatting or validating input. To add a utility method to the class, we simply define the method within the class. The method can be called on any object of that class. For example, let's say you want to print out all the information about a car, that is, all its attributes. We can add a utility method called displayInfo to the class, and write a print statement for each attribute. We can see that code here. Take a minute to pause the video and replicate it in your own car.java file. Now, if we create an object of the car class in the car tester and call the display info method on it, we can see all the information about the car is printed, just as we specified in display info. Notice that this is still an instance method, it just doesn't modify the instance attributes themselves. Now let's talk about static methods. Remember when we talked about attributes and we created the number of cars variable as a static variable? We said it didn't belong to a single object, but rather the whole class. In a similar way, static methods get called on the class and not on instances of the class. Two examples of methods we could implement are, one that prints out the number of cars made so far, and a function that prints out information about the nearest petrol station when given a location. Static functions don't have to just be void and printing information. Have a go at thinking of some more static methods the car class could have where it applies to the cars as a whole, rather than the specific car objects. For practice, we'll implement a static method that prints out the number of cars made so far, using the number of car static variable. This time, we have to make it public static void, and then give the function a name, something like print number of cars made. Notice that the static keyword goes before the return type, same as when we make a main method. We don't need any parameters in this case, as we just need to use the static number of cars variable that is already in the class. Let's write a print statement and include some text that gives context for when it appears on the console. The number of cars made so far is, and then concatenate the number of cars static variable. Now to call this in the car tester class, we want to create a my car object and increase the number of cars by one. 
we'll also create a your car object and increase it again. Now that we've done that, we can call the print number of cars made method, but this time we don't call it on a specific instance, but rather on the car class itself. Now, if we run, we can see that we have made two cars. As a side note, we are currently increasing the number of cars manually, but once we talk about constructors, we can see how we can automatically increase the number of cars when a new car is created. In this video, we've seen how to add instance methods to a class and how to call them from the client code. We also looked at a specific subset of methods called utility methods. Utility methods are often used for tasks such as validation and formatting, while other instance methods typically access and modify the object state. Finally, we looked at static methods, which belong to the whole class rather than to each instance. As always, have a go at implementing some of your own methods and calling them in a client class for practice. In the next video, we'll dive into what constructors are and how they can help us create objects. See you there.